Jesus is not the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost is not Jesus. Jesus sent the Holy Ghost. And when you worship him, listen, when you worship him as God, your thinking changes to this. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messengers are blessing you, consider becoming a partner with us. You ready for this? I can't take you to a place that I've never been. I can take you to a place I've been and a place that I am. And if you can hear the words I say, those words will take you there. My religion, if there is one, is in worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and in speaking His words. We didn't just get there this one day bam it took a long time to get there but that's where we are and that's where i am and that's where i speak to you from now you got to know who he is you got to know what his word is so there's a lot of foundation that goes along with that but that's where i'm at and that's where i'm speaking to you from well we don't worship the holy ghost in our church then you can't go here where I'm talking about tonight mm -hmm. it's a requirement having to worship God you got to know who he is and worship him mm -hmm. shouldn't be such a big deal no. but if you knew him as God you would worship him which leads me to believe that you don't really know him as God you know him as something else mm -hmm. if you knew him as God you would worship him And if you'd worship him you would know him in a way that you can't know him yet you would know this place I'm talking about I know there's a lot of people who don't know this place I'm talking about mm -hmm. I used to be one of those who did not know this place I'm talking about tonight mm -hmm. because I didn't do it before I was like you I didn't do this before mm -hmm. therefore I couldn't go here but if you would worship him you would know this you'd know this place and it becomes so clear when you are here i have people that testify to the fact all the time things become so clear crystal clear when you are here i'm changed i'm transformed i'm not the same person i used to be i have evolved into something new this is new no it's not new then you don't know what I'm talking about I'm telling you this is new I did all the other things and it wasn't this it wasn't here it wasn't in this place are you getting this yes. I have evolved into something and someone new someone who worships the Holy Ghost someone who knows the holy ghost as god and worships him well that's different i know tell me about it i wasn't this before my transformed life worships him it's a big deal your knowledge of him say knowledge of him, knowledge of him. expands your knowledge of him grows your knowledge of him transforms into something new people don't like change people like to have it the same way it was for the last 45 years and guess what they're the same as they've been for the last 45 years but that's not how it is with the holy ghost it's a continual change from one thing to the next mm -hmm. from one glory to another glory and when you look back on the other glories that you came out of something looks wrong about it it doesn't look quite right i'm going to talk about that tonight romans chapter 12 1. i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you 
present your who's supposed to do this Amen. that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service in that word those words reasonable service uh, in other translations uh, is translated spiritual worship or your reasonable worship presenting your body to God is part of your reasonable worship it's reasonable he's God so what God are we talking about presenting our body to as a living sacrifice first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 says what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost Romans 12 1 said you're supposed to present your body to God your body that you're supposed to present is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you verse 20 therefore glorify God in your body who did he just say that God was that was in your body the Holy Ghost specifically and concretely we're presenting our body to the Holy Ghost are you here he's the only God in the earth today to present your body to we're presenting our body right a living sacrifice read it again I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God the Holy Ghost that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God the Holy why holy because he's the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. we're presenting our body to God the Holy Ghost which is acceptable and is our reasonable service it's reasonable now is your tongue part of your body yes are you sure your tongue is part of your body I would argue and could argue that it is the most important part of your body it turns the whole body James said in fact your whole body can be healed if you learn to say the right things your bank account can increase if you learn to say the right things your tongue is part of your body and he goes on to say here right and be ye not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god will of god who will of god the holy ghost presenting your body specifically your tongue we're talking about presenting your tongue in the right way will cause you to prove the good acceptable and perfect will of God you're not going to get there without saying the right things the presentation of your tongue to God the Holy Ghost proves the good acceptable and perfect will of God are you here yes. you can only go as far with the Holy Ghost God the earth today as your tongue will say but you have a doctrine limited tongue you have doctrine limited speech your doctrine has not allowed you to go where I'm talking about tonight take the limits off watch this I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I just submitted the most important part of my body to God that's reasonable it's reasonable service it's reasonable worship it is reasonable to worship God the Holy Ghost you think I was speaking a foreign language when I say things like this well that's unreasonable no you're unreasonable now we saw that you think it's God's will that you worship God we're specifically told to worship God God is the Spirit they that worship him must worship him thou shalt worship 
the Lord thy God and him only serve mm -hmm. well when you find out that the Holy Ghost is God well I didn't know I'm telling you the Holy Ghost is God and you should worship him mm -hmm. and it's reasonable to do so yes. and the way you do it is with your tongue because you're submitting your tongue to God and it transforms you let me read that again romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you present your tongue a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to the world but be ye transformed when you present your tongue to god you are being transformed say when i present my tongue, I present my tongue to god, god i'm being, being transformed. Transformed. transformed transformed means changed you're being changed from one thing to another that you may prove well it goes on here that you may prove what is that good acceptable and perfect will of god you're transformed and proving what is the good acceptable and perfect will of god how by submitting your tongue to him mm -hmm. worshiping him is transformative you will begin to think differently your mind will be renewed you'll start thinking differently about him when you begin worshiping him does this make sense yes. can you testify to this I testify to the fact that worshiping the Holy Ghost as God has completely renewed my thinking in my mind and enabled me to begin proving say proving, proving. things that I couldn't prove before mm -hmm. because I'm standing in a different place as a different person transformed yes. worshiping him is transformative right you begin to think differently and you enter into a place of knowing things things that you couldn't know before because you were ignorant of him mm -hmm. and who he is and how he does things mm -hmm. why does he reveal these things to you because you worship him yes. because you're submitting your body to him as God worshiping him the Holy Ghost is transformative you begin to think differently do you begin to think differently yes. when you start worshiping him yeah because you weren't doing it before and you enter into a place with him knowing things remember I said you can't go here without him you enter into his place of knowing things that you didn't know before second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the lord is that spirit it's not jesus jesus never turned into the spirit lord he never turned into the holy ghost say jesus, jesus. never turned into, never turned into the, holy the holy ghost he wasn't the holy ghost before he came to the earth he wasn't the holy ghost when he came into the earth and he never turned into the holy ghost after he came into the earth yeah. he sent the holy ghost to be with us mm -hmm. this verse is not talking about jesus it's talking about the holy ghost now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit lord is there is liberty well i never saw this before did you ever see this before before you started worshiping the holy ghost that this is not talking about jesus this is talking about the holy ghost as the lord of spirits the spirit lord is this a big deal thinking that jesus turned into the holy ghost or into the spirit was good for a time say it was good for a time, it was good for a time. but we go from the good to the acceptable to the perfect will of god mm 
by worshiping the Holy Ghost as God we go from good to acceptable and it's no longer acceptable to think that Jesus turned into the Holy Ghost Jesus is not the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost is not Jesus Jesus sent the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and when you worship him listen when you worship him as God your thinking changes to this and that Lord who is the Spirit can begin transforming you from good to acceptable mm -hmm. and eventually perfect what was good for a time is no longer acceptable mm. does that make sense yes. when you're in the acceptable the good looks a little bit off yeah. and you go up and you tap on somebody's shoulder and you say that's a little bit off and they think you're off because mm -hmm. they don't see it yet the spirit lord says to you i want you to be like me and when you're changed into that image listen when you're changed into that image he becomes different to you and the change has just begun as you begin to see him and know him for who he is you can go to places that others can't even imagine yet he becomes the Lord of Spirits to you he doesn't reveal himself to everybody as the Lord of Spirits because he's not the Lord of their spirit are you here he's the Lord of your spirit he is the Spirit Lord does this make sense yes. this is the place where the Spirit is Lord his place his freedom his ability to do things that you couldn't do before until you worshiped him and began being transformed and that other thinking is no longer acceptable to you what does the changing we're changed from beholding him beholding him as who he is worshiping him as God anything not in this place is perverted it's twisted it's not right mm -hmm. they would say I'm not right they would say I'm twisted for thinking that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and worshiping him but anything not here in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost is perverted to one degree or another I love it here say I love it here, love it here. I'm living this join me or not but everything that is not in this space is false to some degree or another well how can you say that he is the spirit of truth and when you're with him in his place you're with truth and everything else as an element of falsehood to it of perversion mm -hmm. is this fun yet mm -hmm. John 16 13 says when he is words of Jesus when he the spirit of truth called him that he said when he the spirit of truth say the spirit of truth spirit of truth, spirit of truth his name is come he will guide you into partial truth like you've been living in for all these years all truth it's all truth all means all and he will show you things to come what's another way of saying things to come the future he will show you the future he will show you your future this is your future can you hear that yes. jeremiah 29 verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think toward you saith the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end the expected end is the future 
now the king james version says thoughts almost every other translation said plans i know the plans i have for you there is an expected end listen there is an expected end and the expected end for you your future is total transformation we go from good to acceptable which took some transformation right mm -hmm. and what used to be good is no longer acceptable say what used to be good, to be is, good. No is no longer acceptable that's you in today this future right then we're gonna go on to perfection which means another transformation mm -hmm. total transformation the expected end of the Holy Ghost the one you worship and walk with by saying words is total transformation not half transformed oh, I'm a sinner saved by grace you didn't get the first part if you're still a sinner I haven't been a sinner for years oh <gasps> oh <gasps> why would I want to continue in sin we're told not to continue in sin and we're not a sinner we're the righteousness of God but you got to put that on your mouth to be transformed into that are you here yes. total transformation not partial transformation we go from good to acceptable to perfect you ever heard of transformers like the the transforming cars they they transform from a car into like a robot have you seen this movies the cars are cars the car drives around and then all of a sudden for some reason I don't know uh -huh. <laughs> they transform they stand up and they turn and you know, turn into something else yeah. right mm -hmm. I guess it's you know they get in some bad traffic that's very convenient <clears throat> but we have a lot of people that partially transform and it doesn't do them any good you can't stay in partial transformed it doesn't work sometimes I'll see people I'll hear people they'll they'll get a little bit of this message and they'll start they'll say they'll just kind of tack on like they've done with everything of the Holy Ghost they'll just tack it on to the end I worship you father I worship you Jesus and I worship you Holy Ghost make sure nobody's listening and see if they're okay with it that'll get you partial transformation it won't take you to what I'm talking about today you haven't worshiped the Holy Ghost enough to be totally transformed and to be in this space you haven't presented your body your tongue enough to be transformed into this space you haven't worshiped him enough to have in the process of worshiping him change you into what you need to be and then you haven't said his word enough to have that word change you into the thing said that's the second part of this message I don't really have time to get into it confession of his word is a continuation of the worship that you began when you started saying I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. people that worship the Holy Ghost know exactly what I'm talking about it's an extension of worshiping him quickly let's go to Psalms Psalms 107 and verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them how did he send his word by saying it yes. he said his word and his said word healed them and his said word delivered them Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge a lack of knowledge of him the Holy Ghost and his word yes. he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions they were destroyed from a lack of knowledge of him mm -hmm. his said word delivers me from my destructions mm -hmm. one of my destructions was my limitations being limited by my religious beliefs mm -hmm. 
and my doctrinal perversions mm -hmm. when you confess his word it delivers you can you see that he sent his word and delivered them yes. from their destructions mm -hmm. you are destroyed from a lack of knowledge you're saying his word and it's delivering you from your destructions it's delivering you from your limitations spending time confessing his word speaking from this room of worshiping the holy ghost is not wasted time it's the most productive time possible you worship him you speak his word and you become a transformed person you worship him you speak his word and you become a transformed person something you weren't before this will take you to your future this is your future holy ghost i thank you for these people that they heard the word this evening and that they are beginning to worship you right now i worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost cause them to learn the new ways of worshiping you and speaking in agreement with your word and as they do they shall know the new life the new way and shall be part of this great and mighty day in this great and mighty hour in jesus name we thank you for it amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you with my tongue i submit myself to you and your word you are increasing me mightily right now in jesus name i thank you for it amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand your God in the earth today.